and web services in bioinformatics just have a read you will understand what it is in actual then we have homology modeling also known as comparative modeling in which we have like a template then we have to target and align the target with the template and sequences then we have to generate a three dimensional structures very data structures and minimize the structures importance of homology modeling homology modeling tools we <coughs> utilize so many tools in our experiments there is some basic information about uniprot now you guys are very much <coughs> mature in bioinformatics so i hope and i believe you guys know very well about uniprot and how to retrieve data from uniprot we have different structure prediction tools model validation tools sequence analysis tools model visualization tools computational drug designing is the title of this book then there are structural bioinformatics there are so many approaches and doma uh, domains of bioinformatics structural bioinformatics functional bioinformatics and many more evolutionary bioinformatics so there are seven chapters in this book and these each lot just meant uh, depicting the description of one chapter like this is chapter number 1 is sequence retrieval and uh, it has 14 sequence analysis from where you will retrieve the protein sequence usually we use uniprot for that then similarity search and for similarity search we use blast there are different types of blast software you know that blast t blast text blast text t blast and abc then we have alignment for alignment we usually use cluster w nowadays it is known as cluster omega t coffee is also a very good software for the alignment 